size. Size size about the same. Yes. Um, if you look at the size. The size. Size is same. Size is same. Obviously, you see the stitching is outside for yeah. this one. The stitching is, I mean, this is reversed. Yeah. Exactly the same, except that <clears throat> this is more flexible, so there's more stuff. Whereas so this is a lot more rigid. Yeah, that's more rigid. And what leather is yours? Mine's Togo. Togo, Midnight Blue, and um, Blue Madame in. Oh my god. The Veron. Yeah, <laughs> I forgot my okay. It is. Yeah. Even the handle height, right? Yeah. I mean, considering as handmade, it wouldn't be exactly exactly like that. It's quite veiny. You can yeah. see quite veiny. My thirty, not veiny, so not tall. I've got a B thirty uh, in Togo, exactly the same blue mm -hmm. It's not as veiny. Uh, it tends to look slightly bigger. So I hope you like the uh, vlog at the front of this video. So just to quickly summarize, firstly, I did go to Van Cleef with my girlfriend and um, I didn't pick anything up because I still cannot decide and also I'm not too sure if I really want to like buy a new piece of jewelry. Um, I think the ones that I've shortlisted are really the um, Perlet um, pendant in white gold which is really exquisite and very elaborate like the workmanship is just excellent as you would expect from Van Cleef I don't think I'll be getting the Malachite ring even though it really matches my Birkin because Malachite is just too fragile of a stone like you cannot get water on it you have to even clean it with like filtered water because it's so so sensitive so definitely it's a bit more higher maintenance so I don't think it's for me um, and got carnelian earrings um, I did like but I think just to match my bracelet you know but um, to be honest I think for in terms of value for money you should get a five motive bracelet so I might consider the onyx because the grey mother of pearl and diamond one that I tried on is just too expensive it's like super expensive and um, I don't want to spend the amount of money on a bracelet so I might get the onyx one it really depends and um <clears throat> or you know the white gold um perle that is obviously you can that's something that i can wear 24 7 because obviously it's white gold and diamonds but you know me i love my stones so i'm still undecided so do let me know what you think which piece you liked on me um i really like the 20 motive um sweet alhambra white gold as well with the diamonds but that is obviously super expensive and quite bling as well and i don't really wear long necklaces that much so i don't think i'll get that then i went to celine uh, tried on the triumph bag um it looks a bit like the box bag um just a simple shoulder bag it, the leather is really nice and um the black and gold hardware is really sleek but i don't think i'll get it either <clears throat> it is quite a classic shape but it just didn't really like 
um, sing to me, so to speak. So no. Uh, when I went to Fendi, the baguette bags are actually quite reasonably priced. Uh, but again, I don't really like the Fs like all over the bag. So probably not on my, on my priority list. The Fendi first is a very interesting bag. Like looks like very architectural kind of lines. But um, I don't think it's also for me. It's more very avant-garde and I don't think it's really my style. Even though it would look great. I mean, especially if you like to collect bags. Uh, and... Where else did I... Oh, yes. And comparing my friends, a uh, Birkin Ritorne 25 in a blue nu, which is midnight blue, and my Salier Birkin. You can see that the Salier actually looks bigger just because the stitches are on the outside, where else the Ritorne is after the um, artisan sews up the back, he, she, he or she actually turns it uh, over. So that's why it's called Ritorne, and then that's why the stitches are inside. Um, so even though this one looks bigger, this is Vu Madame. Um, actually, the uh, one that my friend had in Togo leather is actually, um, you can keep more stuff just because it's more flexible, it's softer. So I hope that helps. Maybe in future, I'll ask her to bring her Kelly and I can do a proper comparison because she has so many break-ins and Kellys. Okay, and then finally, I went to uh, Gucci Beauty because my sister really needed some stuff. Um, so... I'll just do a quick unboxing, a quick testing of the foundation that we got. She bought one for me as well. So this is called the Gucci Natural Finish Fluid Foundation. So there are two, one for her and one for me because we have different um, kind of undertones. So I got neutral, whereas uh, she got um, kind of the uh, for yellow undertone. So this is the out has mine and she also got a powder a finishing powder a natural matte finish so i'll show you how the powder looks it's um i mean to be honest gucci beauty packaging is really pretty very vintagey and you know lots of floral in terms of the packaging i do love the very very substantial packaging this is how it looks very finely milled so i won't test it since it's hers uh but this it comes with a sponge which is great so very very luxe looking very pretty comes with a pouch as you can see and because there was a promotion <coughs> going on they also gave us like um uh, another mirror pouch and then another pouch here uh, makeup and then um perfume and body wash so that's for my mom I'll show I'll test the foundation right now so it is a, in a pump bottle and I actually got my beauty blender which I've already um, moistened to test this out with you guys quickly this is supposed to be a natural finish and it is buildable um, in coverage so let's uh, I already have some primer on so it has a light floral fragrance and the essay did tell me to use a beauty blender if I could because it would create a more um, natural finish, like softer, I guess, kind of blurred. I'm quite interested in their blurring primer, but I didn't get it because I still have like my primer from Charlotte Tilbury, my primer from Dior, so I'll probably try that the next time. But yeah, I think this looks really, really natural and does have some coverage so I'm liking it so far very comfortable as well yep and the fragrance is not bothersome it's great actually and you can actually put on another layer if you so wish so far liking Gucci Beauty I mean from the foundation I've tried I mean to be honest I am a sucker for packaging and um, the lipsticks everything look really pretty but I didn't buy any anyway Thank you to my sister. She bought this for me. So I will use this more. And what else did I get? Oh, yes. I did go to Cannes as well. I stopped by at Cannes just to pick up uh, my usual shampoo from Session 1, which is really good. I do have a drier hair and I got a lot of mask samples. And quite happy to try this out. Grown Alchemist Hand Cream. Um, it's a very natural brand and I love the very minimalist packaging 
I have quite a few hand creams, but you know me and my hand creams. I oops, I want to put one in every bag so that I never forget. And this is a vanilla flavor. It really, really smells like vanilla. Very, very delicious. Very yummy. So okay guys, that is a very quick video from me today. I do hope you like this kind of vlogs that I did together with my friend. I basically bought nothing at Pavilion. So Gucci Beauty is not counted since my sister bought it for me. Shampoo and hand cream are not really counted since I do need them. Uh, so I did not spend unnecessarily and I am so happy with myself. So um, do follow me on Instagram if you like uh, and also um, check out my other videos. Thanks so much for the support on my channel and do leave me a comment and let me know which VCA piece you like and what you think of the Celine bags and what you think of the Fendi bags and I'll see you really really soon. Thanks for watching. Bye!